I'm Daniel Parsons. I'm, I'm a professor uh, up at the university and I'm the director of the, the Energy and Environment Institute um, at the university, which seeks to be, bring together multiple disciplines into one um, collaborative uh, arena where we can really seek solutions that we um, in Hull and the Humber really can drive and lead on internationally as, as we move forward into a, what, what's been called a zero carbon world. So, so in the Humber estuary, um, along the east coastal margin, big changes are happening because of storminess, increasing storminess, and also sea level rise. We need to address this. We need to um, begin to tackle some of these solutions around uh, pollutants of, of carbon into the atmosphere. But we also need to think about the way in which we mitigate and adapt the effects that are already going to happen in terms of the climate of Earth. The Living with Water partnership, um, which we're very proud at the university to now be, 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 be contributing and working uh, uh, towards. Um, that is all about adaptation, mitigation, living with water. We will flood again, but how do we become more resilient? How do we ensure that our recovery is really rapid? And how do we ensure that we're prepared as a society for this into the future? The Humber is really much at the forefront uh, on our front line of climate change in, in, an, in a whole host of ways. And, and when we look at the capacity of wind energy globally, it's exponential. The, the speed of growth is unbelievable. And that's because the costs have been driven down so quickly. Wind could supply enough energy to sustain the whole of humanity 40 times over. The university and, and all of the partnerships through Greenport Growth and, and now the Aura uh, Collaborative Cluster um, really coming together, shaping the future of this massive industry, the offshore wind sector. And we're embedded as a region within the UK government's uh, sector deal for offshore wind. Um, we're leading nationally and internationally on this. People are looking at us at what we're doing in terms of uh, capitalising on the opportunity of offshore wind. The renewable revolution that's happening right here can help address all of these challenges associated with the climate crisis.